Welcome everybody. That tutorial video number three is a following of the tutorial video number two, which defines three general steps to learn how to produce a whistling sound. Let's remind us these steps. One, the positioning. Two, the blowing. Three, the conversions. Let's start with the positioning step. The basing position to make a whistling sound with three pieces of money is the V position maintained by three fingers, one of each side of the V and one in the center of the V formed by the two coins as I will show you later on. To start with, we place the two coins side to side in one end, parallel coins. Then we split the two coins to form the V position and place the three fingers to maintain that V position. Normally we can hold uh, the V with only one end using the three fingers. Let's see it. Now, we deposit the V on the side of the palm of the end or on the upper part of the end in such a way that the V will be lying in the hole created by two adjacent fingers of the end receiving the V. Observe the two proposed position of the V on the, the end. There are many possible variations. I propose you to start with the proposed ones and you may vary the positions after using your own imagination and practice. One element is missing to finish the positioning step. That element is to put the lips to cover to the best way possible the upper part of the V formed by the two coins. Normally, there will be a small O's or a fice to the bottom of the V formed by the two points and or whatever similar object you chose to take. We are following the second step, the blowing step. For that example, the blowing is inhale breathing in a medium power. The, the airflow starts from the external part of the V and is forced to enter by the small holes formed between the fingers or palm and the bottom of the V formed by the two coins. If your positioning is correct, a whistling more or less clear will be heard. Otherwise, we are relying on the third step, the convergence step. The third step is to vary the positioning elements and blowing elements while listening and keeping a variation each time that variation is appearing to be closer to the wanted sound. To help you, you may react on the following factors. 1. Inhalation with more or less power, more or less sudden staccato effect. 2. The V position on the end not holding it. 3. 
the lips position on the V formed by the coins. The V4, the V angle between the two coins and or the angle between the V and the N receiving it. 5. The position of the fingers to maintain the V formed by the two coins. By varying these elements one at a time and with more and more precision, a whistling sound will appear. That first whistling sound will be improved by optimizing the positioning and the blowing of air. Once uh, one whistling sound is obtained, it becomes possible to make other variations at will with some practice. Alors, voici euh, deux dollars euh, canadiens. Je vais les mettre parallèles comme ça. Je les tourne. Je vais faire un V avec euh, les deux, comme ceci. Donc, ce que je vais faire, c'est que je vais utiliser mes trois doigts comme ça. Je vais mettre un doigt au milieu et le pouce et l'index du côté des deux pièces. Donc, vous voyez. J'ai formé le V comme ça. Maintenant, je vais former la même chose de l'autre côté. Donc, un doigt ici et comme ça. Donc, on voit que j'ai formé un V avec mes doigts. Maintenant, je vais apporter, je vais avec mes lèvres, je vais couvrir les deux pièces. Je vais souffler pour produire le sifflement. Je vais replacer la position. On a... That is ending the video tutorial number 3. Thank you for the listening of this video. Let's have fun to whistle and let's start the music.